I'm more important than Final Fantasy XIV FanFest. Oh, thank you. I much appreciate it. Anyway, it's, uh, it's me. It's Digi, your best friend. And tonight, we're doing the Lama Lana thing. When it loads. There we go. I wonder what they're going to talk about at the fan fest. Probably like five dotto, maybe. Anyway, this time we're going to try and figure out this puzzle. Hi there. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. So here's the deal. This room is above a gap in the map. I need to get into the room that's below this one. Somehow. It doesn't seem like there's much immediately forthcoming. Hidden, hidden walls and stuff. Anything? This is why I like the katana, because it ac can actually attack the floor below me. But it doesn't seem like there is a... breakable floor. The other option is... I could be able to get in through here, somehow. Because I think if I could go in through the middle, that would also be fine. The reason I need to get into that gap is because... The ancient cog, which we have been... Uh, waiting how long for now? 15, 20 hours? It's right here. The chest is open. But it is currently inaccessible. And there's a gap in the top of this room. And I've already used the battery and it's not here anymore. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So the statue of the snake bodied twins has become an object of worship. And then there's this image of some sort of crawling chaos. So I'm wondering if maybe I have to defeat some sort of something. But what that might be, I have no idea. This room also has a similar, similar monolith. And also has a treasure chest. So I'm not entirely sure... what I'm supposed to be doing. Within the belly of the crawling infernal fiend. Do I know anything about... Fiend? 
The Infernal Fiend bites into the neck of the Colossal Dragon, thus binding the two together. And that's all I know about the Infernal Fiend. So... Colossal Dragon. I'll search for Dragon. Hey there, it goes pretty good. Maybe. I'm looking for info on the Infernal Fiend. So Jormungand is the Great Serpent, but I don't think that means a dragon. Dragon? I've apparently got some info, but I can't actually see... Oh, the Black Dragon Needhog. Okay, well Needhog could be some sort of colossal dragon. It doesn't help that dragon could mean a lot of different things as well. Yeah, that's that's the thing. The infernal fiend bites into the neck of the colossal dragon. Ah, oh, this way doesn't let me in, does it? No. So this was Nidhogg's room. Fairly sure this is where I fought Nidhogg. Hmm. There's another place where Erd statue might be. It's right here. Okay. So a dragon. It's maybe likely that it's somewhere here. There's a pretty good indirect hint the game gives me that you could point me towards. Give it, like, 10 minutes or so. So I feel like there's... Stuff in this area that I haven't really looked at yet. Maybe. Huh. actually want to go downwards, I think. I 
Katana's just so good, it does so much damage. Okay, so... There's not really anything here, though. What's... It's like, statues of men. Maybe. Here's the, uh... Here's that sigil. Aha! Well, that's something. The katana gets outclassed later on, but only just. Yeah, I'm really surprised they give you this item, like, so early. Okay, so there's... Ha! There's a Chakram. Was that all? I mean, that's a little disappointing. I want to destroy this... Infernal Fiend. Nice little stoic enemy there. Hmm. Chakram are pretty dang strong. That's true. There's apparently only 12 of them. Oh no. What am I doing? Alright, I gotta get in the gotta get in the zone. In the Lamalana zone. I miss when Weapon Fairy just threw your sub weapon. Chakram was so good. Okay, so let's have a look at the pain zone. Let's... Okay, so... This monolith here has got this, like... Pillar sigil on it. Bullet fairy. Like, yeah. Hmm. Sex pistols. <laughs> oh yeah, I still need to watch um, this week's episode of JoJo. JoJo Kosugi. Almost. Lumisa totally could be a JoJo. Okay, let's have a look at some map names. Uh, where are you? Heaven's Labyrinth. There's Glazilla Bolus's room. I've already defeated Glazilla Bolus. Arachne's room, defeated Arachne. Scylla's room. And then there's the monster's jaw. Is the belly hint about a hidden ladder around the beast stones? I don't know. I mean, this could be the belly of the crawling internal fiend, but it's probably not. Because these. Hmm. I don't really seem to be anything other than 
art. So, what does the monster's jaw have to do with the monster's room? I'm just gonna rotate the thing and see if anything changes. But I'm pretty sure that the rotations are only for these four rooms. Sometime after I last left, two men came here. Uh, after attempting to break that gate seal by force, they gave up and tried to dig into the wall instead. I prefer not to have you people behaving like that here in our temple. Okay. The younger man started swinging his whip about the moment he saw me. He was extremely rude. <laughs> um... So for those that don't know, Baphomet was actually a boss in Lama Lana 1. I'm a demon. Oh yeah, with the with the Baphomet mask. Priestess. Can't really say anything about the belly hint without just giving away the puzzle it relates to. That's how Lama Lana goes sometimes. Okay, so... This doesn't seem to have changed much. It's too bad she doesn't respond to the demon costume. Ah. Uh, I didn't even think about that, actually. Fashion statement motifed on a Lamalana Guardian. Part awe inspiring Battle Demon, part awe inspiring Chibi. Um, what am I doing? Rotating the thing. Earth Spear is actually very good for finding breakable walls because it's got a good arc to it. But I'm fairly certain that there's nothing breakable here. After some exploration. So, I mean, the belly of of the fiend, if they're talking about, like, the same thing that Monster's Broom and Monster's Jaw refers to, then I'm guessing the belly is probably that room in that little gap there. Okay, the other thing... that we might be able to do is Key Fairy. Like, I'm probably going to waste the Key Fairy. But I would like to know. It's always a good idea.
Key Fairy is purple. This one. The square. Alright, let's go. Um, there are two places that I want to take the Key Fairy. The first place is here. Anything? No. Anything? Okay. What about here? Anything? Nope. Okay. Uh, the other place that I want to take the key ferry. is this sort of seal thing over here. Oh, hang on. What are you doing? Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's kind of not great. I mean... It's just letting me know about the hidden passage. Is that all it is? Just a hidden passage? There's nothing behind here. God damn it, Key Fairy. Now what? All right, where where is this hint that you have for me? I mean, it'd be cool if there was like a plat uh, like a dais behind here that I could place a weight on and do something. in Divine Fortress. A mural of crows. Okay. This thing? Okay, Vr Vritra. Um... It'll be a scannable thingy in the background. Okay. But Vritra, Vritra here is also a dragon, by the way. Um, and... Oh, that's an Ankh. It's not actually Mjolnir. Okay. Do I remember where the Crow mini-boss room is? Uh, probably not. I don't remember where much is. Um, maybe I can have a look. Oh, unless it's... Uh... Origin Altar, maybe? The room with all the Odins in. Oops. The mural is in E4. Okay. Well, this looks like a mural in the background. This one. The crow's map. 
While ostensibly an illustration of Hugin and Moonin, some say it represents the Divine Fortress itself. That's the indirect hint. <laughs> so, it's called the Crow's Map, though. So, is... Oh, that's interesting. Um, actually, is it? Is that interesting? No. Just looking at some maps here. I mean, <laughs> that's certainly a very indirect hint. Um, some say it represents the Divine Fortress itself. Hmm. That's just one more, one more extra thing to ponder, I'm afraid. <laughs> um... Okay. Should probably buy more of these. So that's if that ends up being not quite enough. I mean, this is also this is also the same mural, but like in block form. Is that actually anywhere else? the crows I mean I mean the like the uh, the block with the mural of the crows on it so it doesn't actually look like it Go ahead and say that it isn't. Although it might be in one of these southmost rooms. Hmm. I mean, if it's the crow's map. Then it's pointing me to maybe this. But I don't really see how that relates to literally anything. <laughs> Which, you know, it's maybe a good Lamalana clue. 
that's maybe... Oh, there's also this this one. Okay. So here is the other place that it appears. It's just meant to get me thinking. <laughs> okay, well... Hmm. So, I mean, I could... I could assume that you're just showing me that in... Uh, in the hopes that I will... Find something similar here. Uh, what? Okay. I guess you're just in there now. Enjoy. So I want to look for... Something in the background. Maybe. I guess you can get up there. Hmm. I wonder if there's something down in this area. So I don't think I've been there yet. I think the number one room has a ladder that goes up. Don't give up, skeleton. Nearly. Okay, there's actually just nothing here. So this has like a little image of that thing on it. Um. Which is, as far as I can tell, the only thing that that might have something in common with the crow's map. But I mean, that could just be the, uh, that's good thinking. But that was, that was a previous puzzle though. That was a different thing.
Is there is there one of these rooms where the thing is facing left? Okay, demon facing left in room number two. Hmm. I'm fairly certain that this was the solution to a different puzzle. And this is Angel facing left. Oh, that passage is actually very good to know. Okay, well that was certainly a noise. that's done anything to this room. Doesn't appear so. anything? No. <laughs> Alrighty then. I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing at this point. It appears that I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. Maybe work on something else for a bit. I mean, I could, but I really need to solve this puzzle, like a ASAP. Um, but working on something else might be a good idea. Uh, actually, I do have something else that I wanted to. Uh, actually, maybe I should go and heal. Yeah. I have a feeling that there's a boss fight coming up very soon. Maybe working on something else will end up helping me solve the puzzle. One can only hope.
Okay, here is not a trap. Okay, so this is gum. I'm assuming. Okay, it's just close enough for me to roll a weapon fairy. Okay, now, you know how Lamalana is, things often connect in strange ways. Yes, that's true. Um, okay, now, what is, what is the thing that I'm supposed to chant here? Fire, earth, and sun. Oh. Well, that's, uh... That's something like a mid-boss, I guess. Just a little mean. Uh, I mean, like, I was expecting a boss fight. I was kind of expecting to die at least once. At least it's close to the save point, yeah. Ah, oh, whoops. Well, um... Let's continue exploring this area, I guess. Oh. Hello. Hello. Ugh. Give me a sec, will ya? Okay. Gloom. This room is the worst. It's pretty bad. The words of the trials are the words of the lords. Three pillars of light are the lords of the riddles. Okay. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm gonna try that one again. Lucifer. Good doggy. Oops. Okay, look. Someone was having a particularly bad day when they designed this room. Oh, come on. I can't even use, like, flares or anything. Okay. Well, Garm's dead, so let's just go and restart. So we can go and talk to the Elder as well.
What do you know about this? Milana Jewel. Used for breaking curses on important treasures. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Well, he doesn't really know much about these items. Have I had a chance to use the jewel on anything yet? No. No, I haven't found a cursed treasure yet. Uh, where am I going? Here. Well, that's a good, that's a good XP filling. Just what I need. Okay, how about I actually get a weapon fairy though? my minion. <laughs> Kill everything for me. I mean, kill the enemies first, though. Weapon fairy always gets you killed. Death, death by pissed off eye lasers. I mean, there's not much else in this room. But it is the road of destruction. Okay. Um, Eternal prison bloom. Hmm. Is there a way to dismiss the fairy? Go attack this thing. Yeah, let's kill this. Good job. Kill this guy too. Okay, so this is Harris Valga's sigil. Well, there's something here, at least. This is also a road of destruction. Okay. I might have something in my notes about this. I mean, checking, checking destruction. Might be a good idea.
Ah, uh, okay. Cross the river sticks with a small key in hand, then move on to Nipahilio. You shall receive a weapon that will do you great service if you are to traverse the underworld. Okay, well, I mean, Key Fairy seems fine. What is this door? Well, that looks like Kreisvelga's sigil. That's also leads there. Okay. Wait, that didn't take away my chalice, so that must be a fake door. Reread my underworld notes. I've already got it. Oh, the key fairy. Yeah, okay. That was in uh, Immortal Battlefield, that note. Although now I have to wait for... Actually, let's grab... Let's grab this fairy. King Yama. Yeah, maybe. He's like, there's another way into the underworld. Oh, actually, what I want to do is save and quit. I think. That should reinstate that fairy. Yeah, cool. Okay, key fairy. Let's go. Okay, now... Let's see if she shows me some other hidden passage. Come on, dude. I don't have time for this. Alright, that looks promising. Ah, bombs, excellent. So, bombs... Or is this leading away from C6? It's a shame that this ends up making the fairy related app combos pretty much useless. Bombable walls, beware. Leading out of C6. Wait, what do you mean it makes them useless, though? Is this a real door? Yes, okay. What 
does so much damage. Okay. Bombable walls. It could be that, uh... Oh, yeah, the, um, yeah, being able to just choose a fairy is nice. I mean, you could do that pretty easily in the first La Moana. Um, I think there was somewhere in Spring of the Sky where there was literally a, like, a, a fairy point, like, about a meter away from the wall. So you could just, like, just do this, basically. Uh, why am I here again? I don't have a solution to the puzzle yet. Hmm. The other thing is, where is Odin? I'm wondering if maybe Odin is not actually just the ravens. I'm glad that that's not the case. None of none of these are the real Odin. Fairly sure. But Brahma, yeah. Cuz that's that's the other puzzle that's kind of going on at the moment. Things, things that I can look at. Brahma, the uh, the twins, or um, or I could go information gathering in the Eternal Prison and figure out, you know, which doors are real, which doors are fake, and that kind of thing. Like which doors have which sigils and stuff. Um. And then I can start planning out my route through the Eternal Prison. Have I found any other supergiant statues? Um, I mean... There was Bergelmir. But I'm pretty sure Bergelmir is not a, like... Super, super giant statue. Um... I mean, that's a good question. I mean, we could try. Oops, that's not the way. That's also not the way. Hmm. Uh, 
Oh, I didn't need to go all the way up here. I want to go over here. It's like there's this dude, but I don't think... I don't think Egg is correct here. And I don't think Shiva counts either, because... You know, Shiva. Oh hey, welcome everyone! How are we all doing this fantastic evening? Hola. I'm trying to- I'm trying to look for a huge statue at the moment. But I'm not sure that I have the right things in mind. Because the whole back of this is basically just statues. There are several different areas relating to Odin and that pantheon of gods. Uh, okay, so we're looking at Norse stuff, maybe? Wolf Raid. Sloth Love. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's a large statue in this area. Room names. Hmm. That is, that is true. Roots of Yggdrasil. Actually, if I search for... Corridor? Maybe. So there's... Uh, Corridor of Wind. I don't think that's it. Uh, Vampire's Corridor, Inferno Corridor, Odin's Corridor, Corridor of Spikes, Sacred Wine, Corridor of Sorrow. Also Altar, that it could be. It's too much, man. Oh no, we're done. There we go. Hmm. There's too many puzzles going on at the same time. Too many puzzles. I don't think I've seen another really big guy. Like, there's these, but I don't think they're Odin. Like, we're in, we're in Welsh now. Try rereading the convo with Odin. Maybe I will.
Wait, do I have a convo with Odin? <laughs> no, we're not talking about you. We're talking about actual Odin. I don't think I've talked to Odin before. Oh, the, the Brahma convo? Okay. All that was birthed... Creation is all that was birthed from the remains of the primeval giant Ymir. The glimmer of that which is birthed from death is creation. Do I know anything about Ymir? No. But giants, maybe. Wait, did I... Do I have that place saved? Actually. Hmm. Are you Odin? There's also that room with the giant sword, and I have absolutely no idea what's going on with that either. Oh. It's... I've done it again! Can't even suicide to try and get those weights back. Maybe I'm too tired for La Milana. Maybe. Oh good, I don't have to use those whites again. That's a relief. So I think I do have some more information about this, maybe. Um, what's that? Embankment. Count the words in the embankment above the prison. Um. Okay, well, I don't actually know what the words are, so... <laughs> That's maybe not the way to get in. And there's nothing there, really. Hmm. I just don't know. Kind of too much going on, and also not enough going on. Uh, 
Um, the other place that there are giants. Is over here. But I don't think any of these are Emir. Could just try all of the giants. But I'm pretty sure Emir was a frost giant. Like in actual lore. Ymir is a frost giant? Okay. Hmm. What about a different area with Norse theming? Okay, so there's... Valhalla, there's... Uh... I mean, Immortal Battlefield, maybe. Probably not. Ice Fire Treetop, maybe. Maybe Eastern Ice Fire Treetop. If we're looking for frost giants. I mean, there's this. It's not. That's not Odin. Oh, is this <laughs> this thing? <laughs> this better not be Odin. Hang on. Before I before I do egg. Oh, it's Emir. Okay. Right. So, hmm. Okay. So Emir. Where's my, where's my Brahma? <laughs> Ymir? Yellow. Okay. So now all of these, all of these things are activated. All five of them, yeah. Maybe, maybe we should actually... I have the vase, yes. Maybe we should actually do this. Oh, alright then. I've been gathering tons of info about Brahma. Should I save first? Probably. This isn't one of those 
get the get the flail whip puzzles. It's not that kind of puzzle. Okay. Okay. So, displays a figure of what appears to be an ox. The number of legs seems to change in line with the mechanism attached to it. Okay. So what should be placed upon this arm is Satya Yuga. That which represents the Age of Blessing. Why are red and yellow together? Okay, so if I place a weight that changes... Oh. No? What? Um... Okay, what is- what is this? How about I just do this? They're all skulls. Is this gonna, like... Oh, what? Alright. Okay, that's a... That's a metal thing. Alright. Do I still have the message from what's-his-name back in Valhalla about this? Probably. Um... What does... what does... what's-his-name say? Um... Uh, Brahma alone, watching over the world from above, was taken away by beings who come from the skies. It is said that Brahma possesses all information on Eglana. Brahma has amassed an immense amount of knowledge, and it is said to show it to those who desire to see it. His forearms control the four eras, the Yuga. Placing the appropriate offerings on each arm will activate Brahma. The means to solving that mystery lie in Brahma's dialogues on creation. Dot dot dot. Okay. So, if it's an ox, and it has four legs, then I assume that that's like the best, the best number of virtue. Uh, it was, it was Baga. So if this is, if this is virtue being overflowing, then we probably want this one, right? How do I, can I change the color somehow? That which represents the Age of Blessing. Well, that's going to be the Padma Lotus. When in doubt, percussive maintenance. <laughs> I'm just going to see if I can actually activate this thing yet. Well, that's unfortunate. Because if Brahma is activated, maybe this thing will also be activated. Although I might have to wait for gold to come back around again.
And it still doesn't do anything. <laughs> or is this supposed to be gathering information as well? Because the one with the the one with the lotus doesn't spike me if if there's gold. Okay. So in that case, I don't need to leave this area anymore. So let's solve the Brahma puzzle, I guess. The Yuga wheels are purely informational. I mean, that's a little disappointing. Ah, okay. There we go. So... Vapara Yuga is Abzu, which is blue. I'm assuming. Chaos is purple, though. Gives you a few different ways to approach the puzzle. Um... Actually. What are you? Your blessing. So the Padma Lotus begets blessing. Blessings will not grace those for whom life is tangled with chaos. So... What if... Um... What if that? Okay, that's a lotus. So, in that case... Um, Ameno Mina Kanushi. Life. Okay. So next is... Next is the Treader Yuga. That which represents the age of belief. So I have info about belief. The Vedas texts constitute a belief system. One belief is that when we reach death, we will return to water. Okay, so... Maybe... Um... Oops. Maybe this is correct? Yeah, that looks good to me. Um, okay. Then... <laughs> then what? Tolerance. Oh, should I have been activating this as well? Maybe? Hmm. Well, we'll find out. Tolerance. So that's... Uh... Water pot. Uh, battle and chaos. So that's going to be Artum and K. 
chaos. And then... What's next? Worldly desires. There are as many mala prayer beads as worldly desires. The beads weave together those whose desires drive them to fight tirelessly even after their lives are exhausted. So, we want fighting and we want life. Okay. Yeah, alright, so I do need to be doing that as well. But that's okay, because I have all that information. I have all of the information that I need. Okay, so... We want life and chaos and gold. Then, this is going to be silver, I guess. Um, uh, so, this is Treta. Treta Yuga. Vetus text death and water. It's that one. Copper. <laughs> um, battle and chaos, right? Get out of there. Uh, and then finally... Prayer beads. Evernote. Evernote is doing things. Marlow prayer beads. Not highlighting the right words. Okay. Uh, fight and life. Okay. Nice. Past Brahma's trials with flying colors. I wonder what that's a picture of. Could it be a full map of Eglana? What are those red and blue lights? They probably represent certain locations. Try checking it against the map on your tablet. I mean, I'm assuming that they're. Hmm. What's at the top? Something over here. Oh, hello. Yeah, okay, so there... Something. Bosses, maybe?
Hmm. <laughs> this is a lot of information to take in, and I'm not entirely sure what everything represents. Can I get everything on one screen? Maybe. What if I scan this mural now? Remember what it said. The crow mural. Oh, that it represents the Divine Fortress. Hmm. That's certainly something. Now think about the other puzzle I've been working on. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> so, in that case, I want to see the dragon, maybe. I'm wasting a lot of weights on this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go save, and then uh, and then I can actually save my weights. I just want to see all of the picture at once, so I can um, so I can take a good screenshot. Okay. Um, where are we? Ancient Chaos. Okay. There's also a star just there. old Brahma. And there's a star way up the top there as well. Can I get them all in in shot? No, I'll just have to remember. Star way, red star. Way up to the top, uh, northeast. Behind, behind the coin counter. Taking two screenshots and splicing them together. Yeah, that's, that's also a way that I could have done things. Okay, so... Here's my assumption. The, the state of this screen doesn't have any bearing on the rest of the ruins. It's just information. That's correct? Okay. So I don't need to... I don't need to use any more weights here. But now the question is... What... There's also a hidden benefit of this that the game doesn't do a good job of explaining. Oh really? A hidden benefit of having solved the Brahma puzzle. 
I'll probably see it for myself eventually. Okay, so... I found the screen with the... Crawling... I'm just gonna call it the Crawling Chaos, because that's what it is. Uh, and the dragon. And they're kind of... Just below the immortal battlefield, if if Jormungand can be classed as the sigil of the immortal battlefield. So so what's below the immortal battlefield? Do I know what the fiend represents? No, not at, not at this time. That's why I'm I'm going in search of going in search of south. Oops. And it is actually to this side. Wait, that's the uh, ice fire treetop. But specifically the frost side of the ice fire treetop. So... And I, yeah, because if they're... If they're locked... In battle... Then... This side must be the fiend, and the other side must be the dragon. The question is... Can I heal? The question is, where is the dragon's neck? Oh, is that bombable? Oh shit. Give me the coins. <laughs> Where is... I mean, a simple solution might be to look at the map. I don't actually want to create a new sheet. Is Ice Fire Treetop? There is actually a room here <laughs> that I can't do anything with. But I'm assuming that's for later. Because I was told to find the, um, the light scythe. I mean, this, this looks kind of like the twins. Kind of. I could go in there with the clay doll suit. Right, but that wouldn't, that wouldn't do anything. Like, it wouldn't spawn whatever boss or whatever is going to be in there. It's just a glossary entry for now. Uh, uh okay. It's 
So there's twin sigils up there. Um, there's also... I mean, I'm assuming it's twin sigils. There's also this room in here. Which I'm pretty sure doesn't actually have any bearing on the rest of the game. It's just like a little developer room or something. Although, like, in the very first Lamalana game, um, you could get some pretty neat software from going into those, like, developer rooms. Um, and also, also Hell Temple, which required you to get a high score in one of them. It's interesting, but I don't think I've fought a boss here yet. And I'm fairly sure that's because that's the boss room up, up there. Let's go and ask some people for help. I fought too many bosses. Um, okay. Malbrox's not gonna help us. Um, yeah, you're right. I did fight, uh, Verdfolnir and Ratatoska. But Ratatoska obviously doesn't count. Um. Having said that... Well, it was only an illusion of Ratatoska, right? The real Ratatoska is down here. I think maybe it's time we gave him another look. Maybe. Am I ready for Ratatoska? Probably not. He's certainly a lot more powerful than he was. Oh, J Jesus! <laughs> but he still doesn't actually have that much health. Like, if I can figure out his patterns, I can... I'm pretty sure I can very easily beat him. Like, granted, I can figure out his patterns. I don't know if I can, though. Um, I could also bring Weapon Fairy in. Maybe. If things get... if things get really dicey. Okay, and Shield does not protect against... Magic Fire Blast. That also works. <laughs> Weapon Fairy's cheating. I mean, this is also kind of cheating, right? Oh shit. Alright. Okay, that's another Arc Jewel. I mean, useful, but I've got four of them. <laughs> um, 
I have I have four Unk Jewels, and I think that's all the rest that I need. If I'm trying to think back on the bosses that I've defeated. Nidhogg, Lokata, um... Vuku, uh, Vuku Kakwix? No, um... Ja Jalan Jalandara in Valhalla. Um... Although, looking at... Maybe I haven't, but... Oh, does Hugin and Mugen count? Probably. Um, and Jormungand. And Anu. Oh, okay, and Anu is the other one. Not Hugin and Mugen. They don't count. So yeah, five, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, that's... um. That's that, I guess. I mean, I'd say that Ratatosk is dead, but he kind of just teleported away. Um, which is what he normally does, so I'm, maybe he's not dead. Maybe he's somewhere else. Plot, plot twist, Ratatoska is actually the final boss. Um... Okay, so... Fiend. I have all the info I need for the puzzle that I'm stuck on. Okay, well that's that's good to know. I mean... If I think about... What... So if the Fiend represents, sorry, the Fiend and the Dragon both represent this area, then surely this is where they collide. So maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe, maybe that's not correct. Ymir. It's a complete map of Eglana, and that's the key. Ah, okay. I was actually wondering to myself last night, after, after stream, if I should try and make a map of the whole of, of Eglana. Because... This area actually connects to Immortal Battlefield in in a Euclidean way uh, that is very much unlike the first Lamalana. So the question is... question is what if 
Okay, so maybe there's maybe there's a front side and a back side. Like like Lama Lana one. Um Actually let me let me pull up my notes for you so you can look at what I'm looking at. Otherwise it's gonna be very boring. Um window capture. Notes. I wonder if this will actually display... Oh, it's not going to display the image, is it? Oh, because the... Oh. What? Okay, so Evernote actually does a weird thing where the, uh, the inner window is not the same as the outer window. Um... Um, okay. So, maybe I can't actually show you um, display capture. How about that? Okay, that'll that'll do. Okay, here are here are the notes. Um, so we have a map. We have a map of what looks to be the front side of the ruins, because that's Divine Fortress. That's. Uh, Oops, that's Immortal Battlefield. Um, this one is... Okay, so if this is Heaven's Labyrinth, this crawling infernal fiend thing, uh, and the map has the monster's jaw, then I'm looking for something which might be a neck or a head or something. But if this is Immortal Battlefield, then where's Where's the ice fire treetop? Is it this one? Maybe. But that wouldn't make much sense. I don't know. Let's have a look at our maps. So Heaven's, Heaven's Labyrinth. Have I seen these images anywhere else? Uh, I mean, they're on they're on tablets, I guess. Um. Yeah, so I guess I guess I could go and find a tablet with that image on it. Which could be could be a good choice. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm looking for the dragon that the fiend is biting. Yes. Puzzles. So This is, this is most certainly not that. 
This is this is a thing that looks like some twins, which I don't actually see on the map at all. Uh, so that's that's something. Um, it's not qu quite at the bottom. Oh, ice fire treetop is at the bottom. Yes. Um, this is some sort of griffin. Um, so it's not it's not this. I've just teleported here again. Good. Very good. This is... Wait a second. Okay, so I guess Immortal... Battlefield... Is... Is the thing that I was pointing to before as... Uh, yeah, so Gate of the Dead is actually this. What did you miss? Quite a lot. Um... So maybe it is Immortal Battlefield. But that's this thing. And that doesn't have an image on the map. But like... If the Fiend is fighting the dragon, then certainly Immortal Battlefield might be somewhere to look at. And we're looking at... I think the backside. But, um... Because Gate of the Dead... Oh wait, no, Gate of the Dead's on the front. There are other areas I haven't checked. Yes, there are many areas I haven't checked. Okay, that's certainly not an area on the thing. Unless, uh, oh no. Okay, so Takamagahara Shrine is the dragon that I'm looking for. So, what about, uh, what about Execution Room? Does that sound maybe like the right place to be? God, the katana is so broken, even, even attacks behind you? Let's just let's just get some get some solid ground here. Please. Why? I'm actually kind of really happy that there's a puzzle that's based on the shape of the ruins. So I was starting to think that it might not exist. Not this time, bucko. Because that, uh... The whole, um... Uh, what were they? Um... The wedges. Um, in Lamalana 1. That puzzle was really frustrating, but it was so good. So immensely rewarding. Okay, so the question is... This is probably the room. 
that is in between the monster's jaw and the twins' room. So how do I get in? Maybe it could have been a bit clearer this time around. This area barely resembles a dragon on the map. Does that actually fit? Um, Heaven's Labyrinth? It kind of doesn't. Because there's actually two rooms at the top there. So I think there's maybe another room over here. Some Somewhere. What about a bomb? It's the dragon's neck. Yeah, but... So, okay, so there's this, like... Two-room... Two-room thing that juts out at the top. Um, like, just next to the ferry on the map there. But there's actually no space for that on Heaven's Labyrinth. Um... So, let's go fight a wall. Um, yeah, so either like this, uh, I mean, that should be the room. Do I have the picture of the dragon from Brahma's map? Oh, yes, I see. Right, so the... Yeah. Yep, I'm just dumb. Don't mind me. That's, of course, the tail. Not the neck. kind of didn't imagine that, like, the area would actually be shaped like a dragon. Does that mean that also, like, this tablet here... Um... <laughs> where is this? But of course... I know exactly where this is now. Um... Super subtle. Yeah, I had no idea. Um, but the question is... Um, if this is... If this is the thing that slots in... Can I attack the floor? Or is it this room? I'm pretty sure it has to be this room. Because otherwise there would be two rooms occupying the same space. There might be something in my notes about this. Uh, <laughs> there might be. Let's, um... Let's see. It's probably going to be a picture in that case.
maybe something about fiend or dragon. There's only there's only two things about fiend, and that it's uh, that the infernal fiend bites into the neck of the colossal dragon uh, within the belly of the crawling infernal fiend. Um, those are my only two things about fiend. Um, and the only things about dragon. Uh, most of them are talking about Nidhogg. Um, Yeah, I, um, I don't think I have a note like that. Which is a shame. I wonder if... I wonder if it's like a mantra combination or something. Very good progress has been made. I mean, this, uh... There's two sort of dragon things looking at each other here. Um... Cheer you. Are there other areas I can explore in the meantime? Uh... Apart from... Eternal Prison, and just like, figuring out which gates are real or not... N no. I don't think so. Like, there are maybe four or five puzzles that rely on me solving this. it should be in the middle. Hmm. Unless I've just, like, missed it. What is this room, actually? This is Awagi Gahara. I don't have any notes about that. Oh, I actually did not write this on my map in the first place. Um, nice. Awagi Gahara. This is probably the same? Yeah. <laughs> Meadow, Meadow knows this game, like, back to front, pretty much. You gotta go to bed? Alright. Um, I probably won't be playing for too much longer tonight. Um, maybe a little bit. I really want to solve this puzzle, though. Can you can you direct me to the tablet with the hint on it? Because I I would like to solve it for myself. You just came off your third playthrough, okay? Well, 
Like, I really want to solve this puzzle for myself, but, um... See you around. See, this is death. I don't want- I don't want death right now. Giving, giving this area a thorough expo exploration, or like the whole of um, the whole of the shrine. Eternal prison gloom. Oh, okay. Well, if you say so, I guess that's where I'm going. <laughs> There's still this. What's the deal with the green light here, by the way? What does that mean? Uh... Alright. <laughs> what? The game doesn't do a good job of explaining it. Um, okay, so... Green eyes, different gate. So we're somewhere in the doppelganger's room. I mean, I don't have this, I don't have this seal yet. The light pulses randomly. Yeah, I had noticed it send it, um, sent me to the lava pit. Uh, it's fake, but also, like, real. Kill it and I'll die too. I wonder if it has any weaknesses. Actually, I have notes about this. Uh, what do I have to search for? Your power? Is that gonna... I'm pretty sure I have notes about fighting myself. And maybe what I remember is that, uh, did I explore the upper areas of Gloom? Um, oh, there's a thing there. Uh, I kind of did. Wait. Oh, there's actually, like, a boss thing. Um, alright. The areas above the river sticks. Um, I have- I have them on my map. But I guess it doesn't hurt to go there again. Lucifer, just like leave me alone for a sec. Um, yeah, okay. I feel like I have actually... There's also for sure a puzzle here. Um, maybe. Maybe not for sure. Um, that, uh, that pillar might just be so I can get out if I fall in there. Oh, right, I can actually, like, go here now because I haven't lost my grapple hook. The whole area is one big puzzle. 
That's why that's why I wasn't here before. Cause because I lost my grapple hook, so I couldn't actually go across the across the way. Ah <laughs> Well well I guess that's a solution. Um <laughs> Heaven and Earth grind fire and wind flow into the sea. Those words will lead you to the infernal fiend's jaw. Pretty cut and dry, yeah. All right. Well, while I'm while I'm here. I may as well read this other tablet. Oh. Um, this one. This one's also Harry Svelga's sigil. Uh, where am I? Yomotsu Hirasaka. D1. The only reason that I can remember that's Race Velga's sigil is because Race Velga is a very uh, very memorable name. The last gate to hell. Where the scythe wielding death god awaits. His scythe afflicts death upon those who retire along the path. Okay. Thanks for the information about hell, I guess. Okay, so the green the green one will send me to that area. I don't want to be there right now. Oh, okay. Well, that's just that's just that. All right. Well, let's let's go get a uh It's supposed to be a hint about the gate that kills you. Right. Maybe. Anyway, let's, um... So I'm pretty sure it's this room, and not the other one. Uh, what are we doing? Heaven and Earth... Fire... And Wind... Sea. Aha! Alright, let's get us... A cog. The Cog of Antiquity. Alright. I think that's a pretty good place to stop. Cliffhangers, right? This item. I've been waiting for literally like 20 or 25 hours. <laughs> now I can solve like 15 more puzzles. Anyway, thanks, uh, thanks for your help again. Uh, Brahma's done. Cog's done. There's not much more to go. I don't think. Anyway, thanks, uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, I will, I will see you tomorrow at the same time. There's still plenty more to come. Okay. Well, that's very good. <laughs>